We're back now with our series today, Climate. As vacationers head to the beaches this summer, there's a, there's a crisis that's brewing in our oceans. Scientists predict 70 to 90% of coral reefs could die off in the next 30 years, but now, now there's a real effort underway to save them. Yeah, this is really a cool story. Coral conservation uses many different methods. In the Bahamas, researchers are growing pieces of coral on what they call coral trees and underwater mm. nurseries. It's part of a program that links our sponsor, MSC Cruises, with graduate students in South Florida working together to identify coral species that can withstand the effects of climate change. The ultimate goal, to regrow the ocean's reefs one piece at a time. About 65 miles off the coast of Miami, Florida, in the waters of the Bahamas. You can see the nurseries in the water. There's an underwater nursery made up of coral trees where pieces of coral of all sizes hang from PVC pipes anchored to the ocean floor. We have four coral trees, three are populated with three distinct genotypes of corals that are spatially independent of one another so we can maintain genetic diversity. Dr. Owen O'Shea is the Marine Program and Research Manager for the MSC Foundation. The nonprofit arm of MSC Cruises, which funds the Super Coral Program. Super Coral essentially refers to a coral that is demonstrating a thermal resilience to changes in, in ocean temperature. And the problems we're seeing with this in reefs is that they are struggling to keep up with their adaptive evolution. Some do it very well, some are incredibly resilient, others not so much. He says finding the ones that are adapting to climate change isn't easy because they're critically endangered. After less than a year of searching for source colonies of super corals like this one, he's only found three. It's literally trying to find a needle in a haystack or a coral in an ocean. But yet when we do find it, it's incredibly rewarding. <laughs> From these parent colonies, Dr. O'Shea harvests hand-sized pieces, breaks them up into smaller fragments, and attaches them to the branches of the coral trees in the nursery. That's where they'll stay suspended in the currents, where they'll get maximum sunlight. They get a nice exchange of water. We get a lot of nutrients that come in from the deeper ocean. After about a year and a half, once these fragments have grown enough and are healthy, he says the next step is to outplant them back onto the reefs to keep growing and repopulating the area. It's an intervention. We're just giving nature a helping hand. So we're sort of manipulating the environment to an extent where we can control the growth of these corals. And this research extends far beyond the nursery. The Super Coral Program also funds the work of graduate students in two South Florida universities. These students test and develop scientific methods in a lab setting to identify the most resilient coral species out there. Each student in the program, like Ramiro Casal Vila, focuses on a different project guided by experts and researchers in the coral conservation field. We'll be using 3D imagery, so taking underwater pictures of the corals within the nurseries to then create uh, models to quantify their growth. And in the process of this, we'll be creating a standardized procedure. A standardized procedure that can be used not only to help coral nursery research in the Bahamas, but eventually it could be used in coral nurseries worldwide. I'd like that my work would be uh, used in the future, essentially gain all the skill sets needed to be able to replicate this somewhere else. Whether on land, in a lab, or under the sea, this research is part of something bigger that can help save entire ecosystems. There are so many wonderful people on Earth that are, are doing coral reef restoration at the moment. So we want to be able to share our results. We want to be able to export and refine these methods on a global scale. What works here might not work somewhere else, but it just might. That's really cool. love that they're trying new ways yeah. to kind of grow this coral. Dr. O'Shea says the underwater nursery now holds 60 pieces of coral, but in just three years' time, he hopes to be growing up to 5,000 wow. corals every year. Wow. And I, you know, I've heard everybody talk about the problem, but I didn't realize it was that bad, quite yeah. frankly, with our coral reefs. Well, as the temperature of, of the oceans go up, it kills off the corals. So yes. if you can find a resistant coral Absolutely. to that, then that was good. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.